Today on At Your Leisure, we're going underground and on top of the water. But not at the same time. I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Jill Kinder. We're at Penguin Lake Adventure Resort, and we're going to find out what you can do in the resort as well as the area around it. From there, Zach Cipriano is going to learn the history about a trail in southern Utah and learn how it impacts his adventure. Finally, Reese Stein learns how long it takes to train a Mustang. Own the outdoors with At Your Leisure right now. Welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder, and we're here at Panguitch Lake Adventure Resorts, and uh, we're on the original ATV. It's only one horsepower, but it's still a lot of fun. That's right, one horsepower. This is great, it's such a beautiful place. This has been a great time so far. We've got so much to do here. Horseback riding, ATVing, fishing, hunting. I'm sure that I'm missing something. Oh yeah, you just play here all the time. So have you ever been headed down through Panguitch and you know you always have to make that left turn? Well this time you just go straight down. So it's not US Highway 89, it's Highway 143. And it takes you, you can go from here, you can go over to Cedar Breaks and Brian Head and there's all kinds of adventure out here and it's absolutely beautiful. And we are so excited. Let's check it out. Panquich Lake has a long history as a family fishing resort. Uh, Panquich, it's a Paiute Indian word, it means big fish, and the Native Americans fished here for centuries for trout. Then, about a hundred years ago, the pioneers came here and they built a dam, which also turned it into a reservoir, raised the natural lake another 24 feet. People really enjoy the lake. We also have cabins out here for rent, RV lots for rent. We have ATV trails, boat rentals, people like enjoy the horseback riding at the resort. We take uh, an hour and a half ride, it goes up through the forest and then down by the lake. And then the 45 minute ride goes to the lake and back. And it's just a leisure, enjoyable ride. People sometimes don't know how to ride horses, so we have horses that they can ride and get the experience they need and then have go out on the trails and, ha and they have a blast when they get back. But there's a lot of culture here too. There used to be a dance hall, a cheese factory, a racetrack. The average summer temperature is only, you know, 75 to 85 degrees during the day and around the 50s at night. So it's, it's a really nice, relaxing, peaceful place to get away from the city. You can go ATV riding, fishing, horse riding, or hiking, and it will relax them. Your phones don't work, and so sometimes they panic a little bit, but once they learn to relax and get rid of their phones, then they're like, wow, this is heaven because there's no stress up here. Get away and, and enjoy life and, and get away from the traffic and the hustle bustle of the big city and just come out here and relax and enjoy. It is just amazing how much this resort has to offer. You, you kind of expect the fishing since mm -hmm. we're at a lake and of course the dog playing in the water, that's always yeah. fun. Yeah, Pudge is never leaving. <laughs> she, this is heaven for her. <laughs> but this is, it has so much more to offer with the ATVing, the horseback riding, and plus in a little bit we're going to go off site. So if you use this as your base camp, there are several great places to go right around here. And so you can go off and then come back. Uh, and spend the night and enjoy the restaurant, whatever you want to do yeah. there. Well, right now we need to get to our travel adventure, and that's with Zach Cipriano, and he's going to show us the more you know about a trail, the more you can enjoy it. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We have left Penguitch Lake, and about 15 miles away, we're here at the mouth of Mammoth Caves. Yep, and there's you can get here by ATV or car, Jeep, whatever you'd like, and uh, come down here and just just check all this stuff out. There's, there's these caves go every which direction. It's, the kids absolutely love it. It's really fun and it's, it's a beautiful area. I guess these are old lava tubes, right? Yeah, that's what we've been told. Yeah, we're excited to get down there and start exploring. I, I hear it's pretty cool. Well, cool, that's cool. a good word. Cool, yes, temperature wise <laughs> as well. So let's get to it. It's pretty nice. There's two caves there. There's one that's not 
that's only maybe a quarter mile deep, and then the other one I think it's around three quarters to a mile deep. It's just out in the out in the forest. I guess I was kind of expecting that you would kind of walk into the cave, but you go down, it's all underground. It was a great break from the heat. It was nice and cool down there. And like there's a lot of there's a lot of like challenges. Like, it's really narrow too. Yeah. And you had to go like under and maybe you had to jump over rocks and it was really Adults might have to crawl to get through the end on one part. I thought that it was very difficult because Half the time you were, well most of the time actually, you were like on your knees almost, like trying to get through. But we saw the light and we were just like, we're almost there, so why not keep on going? Awesome. awesome. Let's keep going deeper. <laughs> uh, I'm not a geologist, but my understanding is it's liquid magma just pouring through the earth and left these tunnels behind. I like it because there's a lot of challenges and you're with your family and there's just a lot of challenges that you can do together and it brings the family together. Well, we've had a great time here at Mammoth Caves exploring. They're, they go all over the place and what's nice is it's hot outside, but it's really cool inside these caves, right? It is, it's amazingly cool. And I would guess that these caves go on forever. We're not quite brave enough to go in some of these. Yeah, pretty much if it gets over about three feet, I'm done. Yeah, that's a, that's a little too much. But make sure you do bring a flashlight. It, it is very dark down here. Yeah, and you can, you can look into little holes and different things like this. It's really easy to find. If you just stay on Highway 143, just about five miles south of Panguitch Lake, there's a left-hand turn that brings you to Mammoth Creek. So you follow that all the way past Mammoth Creek and about 10 miles down or so, there's a sign, left-hand turn to go to the Mammoth Caves. Yep, pretty simple. Yep. But while we're still exploring, Bree Stein is gonna take you to the Wild Horse and Burrow Festival in Farmington. Yeah, and that's our trailhead adventure brought to you by RockyMountainATVMC.com, the place to go get all of your motorcycle and ATV accessories. Well, as always, next week's show looks great. Yep, but not as good as this pizza. <laughs> it does look good. I haven't eaten it yet. A, a day of adventure always gets the uh, the stomach moving, doesn't yes, it? Yes, always. I wish the fish would have been as hungry as we are. Right yeah, now. that would have been that would have been fun. But the Penguin Lake Resort is is a really cool place. They have cabins you can rent that are gorgeous. They're fun little cabins, and uh, you can also buy them as an investment property as well. But you got fishing and you got ATVing and you've got horseback riding. There's all this fun stuff to do right from here. And you know, it's hotter than Hades in Salt Lake right now. And it's gorgeous here. They have a great pizza oven here, a full restaurant, boat rentals. You know, even the drive over here from Panguitch is probably 15 minutes, but it was beautiful drive. It's just a slice of heaven up here. It's so pretty. So we've had a wonderful time and as the name suggests, Adventure Resort, there is adventure everywhere. And speaking of adventure... Get out and create your own adventure. At your leisure. Abundanza! <laughs> but not at the same time. I'm... I'm oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. I'm oh. But not at the same time. <laughs> okay, who's going first? You. <laughs> okay. <laughs>